Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Ken with Mr. Truck here with a really exciting trailer accessory. You know, I've been using the Tucson tire pressure monitoring system for years. I have them on all my trailers. And that's the little part that goes inside your tire. It's underneath your valve stem or it's on the band. They're really good. They're, and actually, the same company makes them for Nissan and Toyota trucks. So I've always liked the quality. You know, the batteries last four or five years inside those, those valve stem, the monitors and the sensors. But new now is I call them space balls. Well, their new system from Tucson is Tucson Tire Pressure Monitoring System Ball Sensors. They look like a ping pong ball. It's a rubber coated ball. You break open the tire, throw the ball in, and you're done. And it picks up all the same signals their other sensors do. It is so cool, so easy and quick to use. And you don't have to change out the valve stems. You don't have to worry about what size the hole is in your wheel. All those problems went away. This is going to be the future. You're going to see this replacing everything. I bet you we're going to be in trucks and cars pretty soon. But now we have it for trailers. I'm the first guy to get them. So we're testing them. We're using them. So far, they've been great. I can just look at my monitor in my cab and tell me what the tire pressure is, what the heat pressure is, or the heat temperature is in Fahrenheit. And I know exactly which tire is low. If one goes low, it'll beep at me. When it goes to a certain percentage, it gets 20% going down. If it's, if it's too inflated, it goes up 50% and beeps at you. So all that stuff keeps your tires rolling and not in the tire shop, not buying new tires, none of that nonsense. None of that blowing your fender off when you have a blowout. I put this on my boat trailer because I was running out of trailers. So now we put them in the boat one, this dual axle one. And it's so cool and it's available now on MrTruck.com. In our store, you can buy these ball sensors and have a whole new system. So come watch the review. I show you all the details. Yeah, they are. They're new. Ping pong in there? We'll see. Just break the one side. Ah. Oh, there you go. All kinds of room now. Well, that was fast and easy. I'll have to do the next one in slow motion. Right? <laughs> well, that's not so bad. You kind of have to break open one side. Yeah. That's supposed to be a whole deal. Plus, you don't have to worry about valve stems or you know, some of these. Alco wheels, they got like a real tiny hole. You can't hardly get a valve stem to fit them. So a lot of people use those bands. Yeah. Because this company makes those too. But this way, you just use one thing. Yeah, and these start up faster too. Because you know you got to roll to make them work. Yep. These roll instantly. And then of course they shut off when it, when you're sitting still. Oh wow. So the batteries can still last four to five years. Oh. Can you put it in real slowly so I can yeah, see sure. it? <laughs> You're fast. <laughs> Taking it out of the box. Okay. There's the ping pong ball. Where are you at? Well, you can put it over. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Wait, hold on. Oh, there I see it. Oh, cool. It just drops right in there. <laughs> it's like playing pool. Right? <laughs> awesome. Those are actually pretty neat. I like those. Yeah. It's the future. I call them space balls, but they call them ball sensors. <laughs> they look like space ball, huh? Yeah, really. They're rubber coated and they're awesome. You 
you know, you've heard of centromatic wheel balancers, haven't you? Yeah. That same, same thing, they don't balance the tire, but when they're slow, they bounce around, then you get that 35 or 40, 15 miles an hour, they stick to the tire wherever they're at. Oh, nice. So they go into orbit. So just like a balancing bead. Yeah. Real similar to that. That's how they act in there. They don't balance anything, but that's right. how they act. Same kind of concept. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can do it again. Awesome. Put it where it's visible like that. Yeah, that's just too cool. There you go. Wow, it just disappears. Awesome. <laughs> well, I appreciate you doing all this. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're going to go over the new ball sensor system from Tucson. Tucson Brake RV. These guys make a lot of products. And they've been doing tire pressure monitors for a long time. So this is my boat trader, and each one of these four wheels has one of the ball sensors. So basically three components to the Tucson tire pressure monitor ball sensor system. And the first one is these little balls. They're kind of like ping pong ball size. And these roll around your trailer till they get up to speed and they'll stick to wherever they're at. Centrifugal force, like in a lot of products, like Centromatic, spaceships. <laughs> anyway, they go into orbit and they stay there. So they only bounce around your tire for just a short period of time. And the batteries turn off and on. So when you're not using them, they shut off. So you could get easily four to five years out of the batteries in one of these. But anyway, so that's the ball, like a ping pong ball, rubber coated, heavy duty. Then the next component is the repeater. <clears throat> now on short trailers, you don't need this. This basically takes a signal from the tire and beams it to your cab where your monitor is. That's where this puppy is. But this rascal goes up underneath the trailer hitch and they come with 3M tape, if you want to just stick it to the metal, or you can screw it in, it's got the holes, and all that needs is a, a ground and a live wire. It's even fused, it's pretty good. I like that, it's a new improvement, adding a fuse to the line. And then the third component is the monitor. Plugs into your 12 volt, and you push a button to fire it up, and that comes on, and it's got its own little antenna. It sticks to your windshield, wherever you want to mount it, and then that gives you the readout of however many tires you have with the ball sensors in them. You can go up to 10. And anyway, that rascal will tell you the pressure and the temperature of each tire. And you can set alerts in it, so if it's too high pressure, it'll beep and give you the red signal. If it's too low, it'll go the other way. But you've got signals on too high, too low pressure, too high, too low heat. And it shows up on your monitor and you can always see what's going on in your tires the pressure and the heat they all show up on the screen you'll see that in this video but <clears throat> we're getting ready to do a good test run with this device in my boat trailer it's exciting stuff i call them space balls but they're actually called ball sensors don't go away mr truck.tv we'll be right back <laughs> Well, there's a Tucson tire pressure monitor 
You can see out my rearview mirror, you can see our boat. It's a three haul, kind of like a pontoon, but it's got three hauls. And it's big. Well, it weighs 4,150 4, pounds. But here I got the balls in there, the sensor balls, I call them space balls. And they're giving me the pressure in all four tires. That one is low, they didn't put enough air in it when I had the balls put in at the tire shop. So I'll air them up tomorrow, we'll do that, and then it'll go on and show us what the temperature is in each tire. And what the volts are at the uh, repeater box on the hitch there. But yeah, it's giving me the warning, I got a low tire there. So we're going to solve that problem tomorrow. And go out and take it for another spin. So you can see everything on it, but those space balls, those Tucson tire pressure ball sensors are working. The little ping pong balls. Here's the first run with my space balls. This is on this boat. I set the pressure for 32, and I've got one low tire, as you can see on there. Isn't that cool? It figures it out and beeps at me. I think it's, uh, if it drops 20%, it beeps at you. If it has to go up over 50%, the beep at you on the high end, on the heat side, on the pressure side. Too cool. I'm going to go fill up the air pressure, and we'll go through the whole thing. Okay, we're about finished here. Let's see if I can get this these lights zoomed in. Yeah, 12.6. There's 35, 34, 30, 35. Trying to keep them more consistent. But anyway... There we go. That's, the, that's all that you're looking for, is the heat and the temperature. And then you're getting just all these alerts like you saw earlier. We had one or two tires low and it was beeping and flashing and all that. And this I got this sitting on the windshield. And there's the air pressure. And it shows you PSI. And there it shows you Fahrenheit. That's what I got to say that. It's so cool to know what's going on in those tires when you get alerts and and the red flashing and beeping when things are too far above, too far below. I think it's 10 per, 20 percent below pressure, 50 percent above the pressure you set for those tires. I went and set all these for 32. My other traders are set for 80. This is so cool. And all that is is those little balls, little ping pong balls. I call them space balls, but they're actually Tucson ball sensors. And they stick inside your tire. They roll for a while and then they go into orbit and transmit the signal to the transmitter. Man, this is cool. I like that because tires, especially in this heat, it's when you have a lot of problems. You can have problems anytime. This tells you in advance that you got low pressure. It tells you in advance if you're heating up. Man, oh man, it saves me tires. I love it. And it's new. It's brand new. We got it at MrTruck.com. You can go to the Mr. Truck store and order these now. Make a big difference in your next trip.